Hey everybody, so before we get into the episode, I just want to explain that we did try to record video for this episode, but the camera ran out of memory in the middle of the recording, uh, and that is definitely squarely our bad, but unfortunately that means there will be no video for this episode, for those who like to watch on YouTube, which is basically nobody, but thought we would address it anyway. Uh, anyway, now that that's out of the way, uh, enjoy the episode. Okay, um. I heard you had a cold open. I do, I did have a cold open. So here's a question. (laughs) Yeah. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Um, so, say you're walking past your parents' bedroom. Okay. And you can save all sick children in the entire world (laughs) forever. No more sick children ever, if. Okay. You can lick your sleeping dad's butthole without waking him up. Run that by me again. Your dad's sleeping in his bed. Uh You can save all sick children in the world. There will never be another sick child ever again. If you can lick his butthole without waking him up. And if he wakes up, you can't explain to him what's going on, what you're doing, and why you're doing it. Would I fail if he wakes up? Yeah, you, he has to not wake yeah. up. But, like, are all the kids in the world worth saving? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, aren't there a bunch of bad kids? You know, you're right. What if they there grow up to bad be bad kids? people, you know? Am I not sparing the... I'm totally kidding, let's by the way. Get this I would 100% do let's that. Let's get this I'm, straight. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Also... Let's get this straight. You're okay. saying that some kids deserve <laughs> cancer. <laughs> I'm not saying some kids deserve cancer. I'm saying that That's some kids don't. What... Not... I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I you you. I'm know. glad you said it, not me. <laughs> you know, I'm the kind of person that would 100 percent do that, no questions asked. Do you think you could pull it off? I, I'd like to think so. I I'm not I'm not 100 percent confident in my abilities, but I, I I I for the sake of the kids, I hope so. <laughs> is your dad a heavy sleeper yes yeah i would imagine he would be my dad is incredibly heavy sleeper yeah that's fair one of my, i i asked this question to one of my friends and he was like can i lick my finger and stick my finger and i was like <laughs> why would you even ask that why would you ask that does that really change the question <laughs> it, it only makes it so much more graphic than it has to be <laughs> you want to like you want to like finger your no no just just hey, take it as on. it is <laughs> just, just, just lick his ass come on man <laughs> Every, all the cool kids are doing it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Real. All the cool kids are going to die if you don't do it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all the cool kids. Like, some of the cool kids, probably. And a lot of the bad kids. I don't know. Does it work that way? Do I you believe in karma like that. Absolutely. You think only bad kids get cancer? Yeah. There are other sicknesses. Which no, I'm just limited to cancer as well. Yeah. Hey, if you believe it, I'm not going to tell you to stop. Um, Bad people exist. Yeah, and? And this is who asked. <laughs> nice. The most inconsequential show on the internet, baby. I'm Alex. A lot of people deserve to live. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Aaron. A lot of people don't deserve to live. <laughs> <laughs> One of us tells only truth. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not me. <laughs> what uh, is it? What, what do we do here? Um, we speak about our opinions, even though nobody cares or nobody asked. I almost said I'm Alex. <laughs> I mean, you are. My monkey brain is just like he ended his sentence and asked. That means it's the name of the show. He speaks only truths. <laughs> My name is Alex. Uh, <laughs> By the way, sorry, this is a bit on the later side. So what happened was I was gonna eat dinner, like everything was going as scheduled. Oh, you're then. apologizing to me. I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then I got a call. We got a call from my dad. He hit a deer on the highway. Oh shit! And he just and kept- it only delayed us thirty minutes. You moved us from nine to nine thirty. <laughs> Just had to make a slight change in schedule. I have my priorities. The no, course looks just, fine. He just kept fucking, well, from the back. Uh, the front. Mm. Yeah, I didn't investigate that. He just kept driving. So right. he just hit the deer and kept going. And then he was like, I think maybe it just broke the glass on one of the lights, of one of the headlights. And uh-huh. the fucking whole entire right side of the car is just ripped off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and we're like, how'd you not notice that is one? Is he okay? No, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. It was the okay. passenger side. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> I, I told my mom only to come get me if it like looked bad, and she took one. She took one look for a second. She was like, come, "Come take a look. Come take a look." 
<laughs> that shit was fucked up. Let's get your expert opinion in here, Aaron. What what, what does it look like I, on a scale of one to fucked up? I did once drive a whole hour and a half with my with my um entire front bumper in my trunk. I remember this. I wasn't was there. Good. I just remember your the story about it. That was my first ever accident, and it happened at night, an hour and a half away from my home. Yeah, it's tough, man. <laughs> my poli- the police, couldn't be me. The policeman and I, <laughs> the policeman and I had to because it was mostly ripped off, but it wasn't all the way. Uh-huh. So the policeman and I had to like manually rip off the rest of my front bumper and then put it in my trunk. That is such a tough activity <laughs> with the police officer. Uh, yeah, and like you know, meanwhile we're both thinking like, yeah, I'm gonna get fucking. This is not gonna be fun. It's gonna cost a lot of money. But um, I'm cracked. Uh, I'm one shot. <laughs> The car's cracked. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you because th- you know sometimes you see cars on the road and like they're beat up or mm-hmm. or like there's a piece broken off in the front. You're like, what the fuck's going on with them? You know, maybe yeah. they just got into an accident. No, maybe, that maybe that can't them... be it. <laughs> it must be some that other right explanation. There, that right there is the fundamental attribution error right there. You see a car and it's fucked up. You think, well, what the hell's wrong with them? They didn't get their car fixed. Like they're just driving around like that. But when it happens to you, but when it happens to you, you're like, oh, I just got in an accident like just 30 minutes ago, and that's why my car looks like this. So there's some straight facts right off the bat. I mean, one of us tells only truth, and the other tells only cap. <laughs> I still can't figure out who it is. <laughs> one of us tells only straight truth, and the other one cap nonstop. <laughs> cap master general, baby. <laughs> um. Let's talk about fast food. Yeah, let's talk about fast food. One, one, uh, one before we get in, I was outside playing soccer today, mm. and it was fucking like – it was like 35, feels like 25 with the wind. Yeah, and, it was cold. And there were kids playing lacrosse, and one of them was wearing shorts. That that dude's got to be so straight. I've never met a straighter man in my life. <laughs> that dude likes girls. Right. There's no way around it. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts. No cap. Honestly, that was that – was... I remember in middle school, that was a thing that for some reason I felt like I needed to do all the time. I was going to middle school. If it was cold, it's got to be shorts, man. It's still a thing. Well, the thing about our middle school was that it was so fucking hot inside. Though that's true. I guess that, I guess that helped justify it. But I, my, uh, I didn't take the bus to school. My dad would drive me to school. And there would be a walk from, from the place. They would, you remember there was like that, that loop? Yeah, and then yeah, you go yeah. down the, the sidewalk and stuff. That was like a solid two-minute walk. And if it was snowing... Even if it was snowing, I, for some reason, just couldn't give in to jeans or sweatpants or just any it's form so of long pants. I had to wear shorts. And then I grew up. And then I grew up. I, and then I was, in high, I was like in high school, and I was like, why on earth did I do that? It was like 20 degrees. Yeah. Just wear pants. There is no reason. It's, There's no doesn't reason. doesn't threaten my masculinity to wear legs. You know what was the power move? <laughs> to wear pants <laughs> to wear those pants you could zip at the knee <laughs> bro you know i rocked that for at least a little bit everybody rocked that for at least a little bit man. yeah oh my gosh anyway let's talk about fast food um we have a list here that we could go through but like also we'll like very miscellaneously talk about it uh yeah you gotta start at the top mcdonald's you know mcdonald's is not on the top of my list in any regard but uh i can get with mcdonald's you know the only thing i would say uh <laughs> wait we, we, we could also smarter stupid this <laughs> okay. we could we could we could but it's like that's okay. it's all situational you know like it depends on the options you got and the place you're around no no, no I, I i just so we can bring back the segment uh ask alex and aaron smarter stupid aka ass oh pickles and it has to end in the ss because it's Smartest. I can fucking say what I want, bitch. This is true. This is this is our podcast. Yep. Uh, the only thing McDonald's is definitely reliable on. Damn it. The only thing McDonald's is definitely at the top for me is reliability. It's always there. It's always around, and it is always consistent. Whether the it's quality one of the constants in this life. Yeah. No. Exactly. Like <clears throat> you can have. I, I, I've been to uh, like a lot of fast food, like in the Philippines or in the philippines and <laughs> and a lot of the different fast food stuff is very different than it is in the u.s oh yeah 100%. not only in quality but in terms of things that they sell there are places where you can maybe in japan it was you can get like shrimp and shit from there yeah i mean they sell they sell spaghetti at philippines and mcdonald's but the burgers and fries and everything is precisely the same mm. it's it's mm. not good quality Never but but it's expected and that's that's important i feel oh yeah you want to know what you're gonna get Mm-hmm. One thing I can always expect from McDonald's is getting chicken nuggets. 
Daddy really? McNuggets. That's Always. very interesting. Because I feel like we can now talk about this, the, the trinity of McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. I have my own mm. personal opinion about it. Well, one thing I'll say is there's nowhere you can't go and find McDonald's and Starbucks. Really? So, yeah. Starbucks, I think, has more locations. Oh, oh, I thought you meant like at the same time. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but just like Starbucks is fucking everywhere along with McDonald's. No, absolutely. It, especially, honestly, honestly, I, when, I, uh, when I would go to the Philippines, I would see more Starbucks than I would see basically anything else. Yeah, it's absurd. Coffee is fucking taking over this world. I know. Uh, very quickly about, about the, the burger places, though. McDonald's, in my opinion. In my correct opinion, McDonald's has the best fries. Burger King has the best burgers, and Wendy's has the best chicken nuggets. I don't go to Burger King ever. Oh, I don't either, but their stuff is – like, I'll be filled by a Burger King burger. I know that. I know that much. There would be a lot of, like, mission trips and, uh, like, volunteer stuff that we would go. Yeah, and, that's like, right. This man's a Christian. This man's a good Christian. You can Catholic. volunteer and do trips like that and not be – and not be – Never religious. have I ever heard anyone say mission trip and it's not Catholic. <laughs> uh, if you're on the video, you could see that I just put a finger down because I was a put a finger down challenge just for me. And you should watch our video on YouTube because that was funny. You should. You should put – you should. Was it wasn't funny. Say, you just should put a it. finger down. <laughs> <laughs> put a finger down in real life if you're watching the YouTube because that would be hype. Fuck. <laughs> By Wait, no not. means could we possibly be watching the YouTube video right now. It doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> but it will, and I'm gonna watch the shit out of it. Um, um, but, uh, but out of out of all those, out of those three, I would definitely like Wendy's the most. Wendy's chicken nuggets. Yes. What the fuck's wrong with you? They season it. So the others don't. I, but have you had the what? There's, a, there's two. There's two different things you can get at McDonald's. There's McNuggets Classic, but then they also have buttermilk chicken tenders. And those. Okay, those aren't nuggets though. <laughs> all right, if we want to get technical. They ain't no chicken nuggets, but I yeah. – Okay, on, I, I, I didn't consider On this. principle, if nothing else, I can't – I'm not going to fucking go to Wendy's and get a fucking chicken nuggets. Get out of here. I don't know. It, the Wendy's nope. run was a big run for uh, me and my friends at church when I was in high school. Wendy's run was a big run for me and my mom for when I was like in middle school. I don't know why. That was the was classic weird. mother-son Wendy's run. It was, it was so classic. <laughs> it was literally like – Ah uh, uh, shit! It's it's two fifty three, Wendy's time. Oh, two fifty three. That's a good callback. I know. I, I was trying to remember. But that's when we got out of high school. I was. I said middle school. Oh crap! Two oh seven. You're right. Yeah. That's weird. It's very oddly specific. Yeah. Anyway, our schools had us planned down to the, literally the minute. I mean, that's that's pretty normal. But I, damn, time flies. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if I had to go for those three, I go for Wendy's though. But like for like, just for like general choice, you for general just, choice between the three of those, you would go for Wendy's. Yeah, me too. I love that. I feel like that's an unpopular choice. I I don't think that's an unpopular. Y'all be choice, sleeping but... on no people be sleeping on Wendy's. <laughs> There's a gun to my head. <laughs> Agree with me. Motherfucker, they're have a sleeping they're on so... Wendy's. <laughs> they're sleeping on Wendy's. I'm sorry. Right. Please don't That's kill fine. me. Yeah, that sounds good. That uh, sounds right. Uh, Chick Fil A. People, people give McDonald's so much love just because it's McDonald's. Yeah, I feel like like actually taste the food and then tell me if it's if you like it, then fine. I, I I had a friend that that worked at a McDonald's for a really long, not really long, like like a few years, but it was like really hard shifts, and he said it was like a nightmare. Oh yeah, working for McDonald's is awful, awful. I mean, I don't know how much better it is to work at any of the other yeah. fast food places, but yeah. McDonald's definitely is bad. Yeah. Um, God bless those people. Uh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. If I were to grade Chick-fil-A, mm. that shit's a hundred out of a hundred. Mm, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Mm, yeah. Actually, mm, 99 out of a hundred. Right. We always want to leave room for improvement. Of course. Uh, Everything I get from there is fucking incredible. Yeah. It's, it's so hard to agree with like a lot of like the decisions and stuff that they make, but- they actually damn. Had, they come through in every other. Category. But that was like, to be honest, I actually did. Um, Aaron and I when we got there, my mom is like always like, I won't get anything from Chick Fil A ever. Aaron, I, I did notice that. Aaron did research on it to see like what they actually did, and uh -huh. it was like one of the like, um, founders' son said something about it like, like eight years ago, mm -hmm. and like since then they've like, 
their investments are like really good and they do a lot of like community community building in like atlanta and like in places where you know in, in underserved communities and they do a lot of good and they don't they're That's not really associated they don't really do like obviously they're not like the the model student of like morality or anything like that but they right. do do they do do a lot of good and like the whole anti-gay thing is really a th- more or less a thing of the past for them i wouldn't necessarily forgive them of it totally right. but but it, that's awesome that it's not currently a thing because it makes me feel a lot less bad when yeah. i'm when i'm gor- gorging on i used to when i when i i used to do this thing where when i would get chick-fil-a i donate to an lgbtq plus charity before i go damn bro I, that's that's hard but that's <laughs> it's called compensation yeah um my you're just you're eating chicken nuggets and you're just like my net worth is zero i've <laughs> i have neither gained nor added i've neither gained or lost from the system it's a zero sum game baby <laughs> eating chicken <laughs> dude it's oh it's so fucking good dude chick, it's special oh the sauce dude the insane. fucking i had their other sauce not mm-hmm. the because obviously chick-fil-a sauce everyone knows that shit yeah. but um they have another sauce i forget what it's called Oh my god! Like a hot sauce or a ranch? No, or... it's like an Asian style sauce. Probably like a yeah. Okay, it's very good. Um, mm. But like, you could name anything from there: the chicken sandwiches, the chicken nuggets. Absolutely. The 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 lemonade actually is really good. The service. The they, service. They come out and do the most. Oh yeah. It's been, like especially it's pleasure, now during baby. especially now even during even during the quarantine, just like me, Aaron, and a friend went uh, just the other week, and they're just like they're outside, they're running back and forth. They got like fifteen people out there, and like, holy crap, they are just absolutely out there doing the most, and it's it's, I don't know. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Um, I went one time uh, during the semester to a Chick-fil-A, and it was one of those things where it's like they had this interesting setup. Well, I guess it's the way they all do it, but um, at Chick-fil-A where you drive and, you know, they have a person like walk up to the car and like take the order that way. Yeah. And she like fucking – she complimented the color of my car. I was like, I know you're supposed to have nice service, but this is just a little strange. This is just like, yeah. I mean, they probably thanks? have to say like at least one nice thing. Like, <laughs> like no. When we they walk back, the manager's like, "Did you say a nice thing? Did you compliment them? <laughs> no, their hair looked really nice. You should have gone with the hair. Did you? Did you say something about their hair? No, I, I said something about the the, the color of the car. I, I was fired. I was under... <laughs> no, please say you're just fired. Punches them. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure. <laughs> punches him out of existence. Uh, uh, yeah. Hype beast money. They actually cash all money do save my pleasure, which is ridiculous. Like, yeah, I like think... not all of them, but like you will probably get at least one my pleasure by the time you leave every single time. At least one, which is already that's a lot. It's more than you would ever hope for. Um, but yeah, but like, uh, mac and cheese slaps. Like next time I make mac and cheese in my own, I never I'm tried gonna... their mac and cheese. Actually, it's very good because like, I'll, I'll I'll go all in on 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 the chicken. That's I'm why. gonna make mac and cheese like. I don't know. I made mac and cheese once before because I'm getting into cooking. That's a whole other conversation. But okay. the next time I make it, I'm going to make Chick-fil-A's recipe of mac and cheese. Ooh, that that's how much I like it. Also, they're brownie, which is relatively new. I have to get you off this conversation before we, I could before go we on de- and on derail the, the, the Chick cast. Anyway, Chick-fil-A, go get some if you haven't had it. The fuck's wrong with you? I honest, Honestly, actually, I'll take it back for a second. Honestly, the I have only met people that are either – down to clown with chick-fil-a like just apps just eating it and everything or they haven't tried it slash refuse to try it there, there's no in between the i feel like the moral standpoint of it can like be alleviated by a little bit of research about and the food. it that too but why do your own research when you could just be ignorant and then hate things be a glutton baby oh yeah time for chipotle you know I used to really love Chipotle. Be very careful with your next words. They dictate whether you live for the next five minutes. I, I'm i a little bit low on Chipotle right now. <laughs> There's one Chipotle near my school. Um, used to go there all the time because it's like the closest decent food place um, near my school. And like the service – it's probably just because of like the people that work at this specific one. Mm-hmm. The service is not good. Like – it was so – there was one experience I had where like – and this is like one experience layered on top of other ones where I would go in – basically the way it would work in this past semester of school is like you order it on your phone and then you go and they have like all these bags on a shelf and you go and pick it up. And right. Your name yeah, on yeah, it. yeah, yeah. They would do that for us too. Well, there was no bag with my name on it. 
and I ordered a, a, a bottle of lemonade. I like lemonade a lot. I know. Um, I know you know. And I was like, okay, there's a bottle of lemonade next to this bag. I guess it's mine. There's no name on it. And like, who order? Who else orders lemonade? So I take it, and then we. I get in the car with my friends and they're like, you should probably just check it to make sure it's yours. And I open it up and sure shit, it's not my order. <laughs> so I bring it back in. I'm like, Hey, there was like, my order is definitely processed, but there's no bag with my name on it. And I figured this was mine. It's not mine. And like, so here, just take it back. And like, can I have my food? And like, we got sorted out, but they were like laughing at me the whole time. And like calling me a dumbass. I was like, you didn't put my name on the food. I guess that's true. Like no. what else was I supposed to do? I don't really like, and like the staff is just rude. They're just so the, though they're rude sometimes. I what I do know is that they all like each other. At, That's that I, was a really weird generalization. <laughs> and all of the what I mean by what that does that matter to me? What I, what what I mean by that like each other. What I mean by I want that them is to be nice to me. Uh, no, I hate me. D- degrade me. <laughs> shit on, shit on my, my feelings. One thing about my professors, they all fucking hate their students, but they like each other. And that's why they're <laughs> no, good. No, no, no. What, no. What I mean by that is like a lot of the Chipotle's I've been to, like, yeah, they'll like laugh at us or like do something. But it's nice to see that like they're they're like at least at least for the Chipotle's that I've been to, all the coworkers seem to like at least like they have some sort of camaraderie, which which is which is like, I don't know, just nice to see that they're not like just like working a sh- like. A, a job that they don't like with like people that they don't like or anything like that and like that's that's nice to see and it's like oh yeah you guys like each other you probably like have to hang out a lot and it's good that you that you i mean you're right but like at the same time don't be a dick to me <laughs> like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna just like look past that and also there's a qdoba kind near my school and i've been go- i went there a couple of times it's i've never good. been to that and it's i pretty similar i i know that but is it good it is, and the portion, like the portions, are more generous. Um, That's actually one thing I don't really care. I, I don't care about with Chipotle, but I, is like fine enough for me. Chipotle has always the perfect portion for me, in a sense that like I will eat it to the very last grain of rice, but I'm perfectly satiated. I'm not still hungry, but I'm not full. I'm perfectly satisfied. Chipotle actually has scanners in the restaurant to see how hungry and fat you are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that that's how they decide how much to put. Yeah, it was really weird. I went into like and there was like a full body scan and there I was like, What's this about? And they're like, It's for the government. I mean, how hungry are you? Like kinda hungry. <laughs> it's like one of those scanners at the airport to make sure you don't have a bomb. <laughs> that's the classic ch- ch- uh, Chipotle TSA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For real. Yeah, that, that line is long and that's that's why. Hey, we gotta keep we just gotta keep our customers safe out here. <laughs> Especially what happened in 09. <laughs> what happened in 09? <laughs> leave the restaurant <laughs> uh but on the man Chipotle- like why did you he asked about 09 hmm. fair enough yeah uh on but in my opinion chipotle slaps uh, it absolutely and i honestly don't care about the the service i'm honestly i don't really care about the service too much for other restaurants either it's, it'll be like a nice plus if they're nice like Ch- uh, chick-fil-a but i don't really care if they're not nice because i as long as I'm getting my food their and they're not spinning in good. it, that's good enough for me. Their social media is good. Really? Like their TikTok? It's pretty good. What? Is it really? It's like not like crazy awesome. But oh, like okay. they've done like giveaways and like they have to like help people out or. Oh, that's good. Um, I mean, yeah, almost every fundraiser at my uh, school for clubs is always through Chick. Uh, is always through uh, Chipotle. Like, like oh, uh, for our to help with our like fundraising for like this this, uh, like community service trip or something like that for certain clubs or anything or or just for like for general fundraising for clubs is it's like it's always a flyer to go to uh, chipotle at a certain time and and like half the proceeds will go to uh the club they do that with sports teams in my school but they they do this all the time and they go hard and they they come through with it yeah it's very good it's really cool to see like verified accounts commenting all over like tiktoks like you'll see, tic- I'll see TikToks where it's like fifteen different NFL teams have commented on the TikTok, and you're like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And like Avengers get, Endgame and like TikTok, they, they get it on trends, you know, like the I never seen two pretty best friends. Yeah, the Buffalo Bills did a TikTok where where they were like, "This is our social media intern. He's been making all these videos, and we want to surprise him by putting up one of his videos on the big billboard." And then they have this like whole meetup of like showing him, and then like showing him doing work, and then they like bring him to the stadium and they have him walk out and then on all the big screen he just goes i never seen two pretty best friends <laughs> you're like fuck the fucking bills the yeah. buffalo bills football team just got me with that 
<laughs> yeah, dude. It's uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you see the oh my god, did what? you see the TikTok by the by the New Jersey state government? No. Oh my god, it's what? fucking hilarious. What is it? I'll sh- I I it... have to just show it to you later. Okay, okay. But it's it's like this most ri- the most ridiculous TikTok and you look down your bottom you're like this is the fucking government. <laughs> My tax dollars are funding this TikTok, well, and it's only kind of funny. New Jersey, it's not you. Ah. My <laughs> friend's tax dollars are funding this TikTok, and it's only kind of funny. Anarchy, riot in the streets. We want better TikToks. <laughs> it's just pick offenses. We want better TikToks. We want better TikToks. We're gonna take Bikini Bottom and push it to better TikToks. <laughs> what are we talking about next? Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, you know, I wouldn't get their coffee. It's pretty shitty, but the donuts are nice. I go to Dunkin' Donuts more often than I would like, nor than I'd like to admit. <clears throat> I go to Dunkin' Donuts fairly often. May- maybe Near your school? Not even really at school, because at school, then I'll, I'll probably go to like the deli or so like somewhere on campus. High school. Oh, in uh, if, New if, Canaan. Yeah, so like mm-hmm. after church or just something like that. It uh, usually in New Canaan, but even I'll even go other places. It's not that I particularly like it. It's just a very comfortable, easy, cheap, like, breakfast for me. Yeah, I understand that. It Donuts, just... sausage, egg, and cheese, hash browns. Like, it's very consistent. It's very uh, satisfying. Satisfying is, like, too positive for me. <laughs> I enjoy – saying I enjoy going there is too positive. I feel like I have to. And it's almost always the best decision for me, both both uh, financially and for just, like, getting food, especially in, like, the time that I have. For breakfast, it's probably the best option. But, like, I always feel like shit when I go there. But, yeah, but saying that I enjoy it or want to go there is a very long stretch. But I probably go there more often than I go to any other fast food place. Yeah, I don't. So I can't relate. And you're stupid. I I know I. It's my heater, <laughs> my heater, my heater. Just sometimes makes random like a loud banging noise, and um, people have like been over to my house and they were like, "Is that normal? Like, your heater doesn't just fucking <laughs> doesn't just your heater explode? doesn't just meow in the walls? Come on, guys, <laughs> we know all heaters sound like an animal dying in the walls scratching. Your heater doesn't sound vaguely like a homeless person screaming for mercy." I thought that was everyone. Well, mine's in Spanish, so I don't know if that's the same thing. <laughs> Mine? No, never mind. I'll stop there. <laughs> uh, I can't take it. Even no, never mind. Um, well, no, no. However, no. You can... <laughs> Unless, all right. Everybody promised not to tell the authorities, so I'm going to tell. <laughs> Off the record, though. Well, oh yeah. Um, what's even better is if you can find like a specialty donut place. Like, there's this place – when I used to visit, like, University of Delaware pretty often, there's this place in uh, Newark. It's called um, Duck Donuts. Oh, I remember you told me about this once or twice. Donuts are specialty, made to order, and just fucking incredible. Ooh, I, I bet. I mean, Dunkin' Donuts donuts are very low quality. Any other place is definitely higher they're all quality. Like, they're, like, big time. Like, there is one donut where it's, like, vanilla icing and Oreo crumbles. Mm-hmm. Or, or there's, like, a maple glaze and pieces of bacon. That shit. Is like a bacon on a donut, a different level, mm. dude. It's have you ever had bacon and maple syrup? I'm not much of a maple syrup person. It's sweet, but in general, no. But I, I can see the appeal. Good. I can see the appeal. I mean, they're both uh, eating it, like at breakfast, so yeah. It's 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 like that breakfast combination where you feel like they're not supposed to combine, and then you do it anyway, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just I just <laughs> found the cheat code. <laughs> God, there's a glitch. I, uh, I, I, hey, can we get the devs in on this one? I think I think we need this uh, patched out in the next uh, in the next. Update. I'm gonna go into the forums for this. See if there's a fi- uh, see if there's a fix online. Um, but let's get on to the next. But even on the topic of donuts, Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme, holy shit, so good. Hype. Uh, honestly, for uh, like in terms of enjoyment and actually like liking what they have, Chick Fil A levels of uh of enjoyment. Dude, a warm. Krispy Kreme glazed donut. Oh, fuck me! Absolutely, and like they don't Flip eat me over. And fuck me, doggy style. Krispy Kreme, I'm such a freak. Just spread my cheeks and, and plunder down under. Krispy Kreme, if 
if you were given the opportunity to save every sick cut child in the world, but you had to lick my butthole while I was asleep and you couldn't explain to me if you woke me up, I'd understand. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad, though. You wouldn't have to explain it. Just actually, I wouldn't be mad. do it anyway <laughs> for, no, for no reward. I, I mean, uh, hey, Krispy Kreme. If anyone I'm wants telling to lick right his butthole, please email. <laughs> you can email us, whoascast at gmail.com. He's taking offers. What does my butthole taste like? <laughs> He wants to know, ladies I, and gentlemen. I love, I love uh, this this new way I've been plug, uh, I've been plugging the email. Uh, like, if you want to ask us, who asks us at gmail dot com? Uh, really out of context question. <laughs> that worked really well with the drugs one. I love that one so yeah, much. That was beautiful. You can ask us, who asks us at gmail dot com? <laughs> How long do perks last? Asking for a friend, just a a friend. Uh, Krispy uh, Kreme. Hmm. Bend me over. I was gonna, Break and it back. doesn't make me feel bad for only liking, for only really wanting glazed donuts because that's what oh, we yeah, get from there. What else do they have? And even if, honestly, they don't need anything else. Like I'm not upset that they don't have. They they have a, they have like chocolate donuts. They have like some strawberry donuts. I think too. They have they have other stuff, but there's simply no need for them. There's like none up here though. That's what bothers I know. Me, there me is off. one by my school apparently because I keep seeing yeah, kids is. with it on boxes on my campus. I'm like, are you, there's no way you're going all the way to Manhattan to get this, especially during the no, pandemic. No, there is. There's one like right, like literally in Fordham. I don't believe you. Well, I believe this you. is Cap. <laughs> one of us tells nothing but lies. <laughs> I still fucking don't know which one of us it is. I don't think I'll ever know. Have you seen that meme? It's like, it's like two guard. Uh, it's like like the the fantasy party like gets up to the uh to to this to this dungeon like they have, they have to go through trials and it's two guards. One guard is like, now one of us and the other guard's like, are you fucking kidding me? And the, <laughs> the first guard's like, one of us tells nothing but truth and the other guard's like, I said I was sorry, Greg. I said I was sorry. And the other tells nothing but lies. <laughs> Greg, please. <laughs> all right i'm sorry i fucked your mom okay <laughs> she was coming how, on to me she's hot okay i'm how was i supposed to know that she was your grandma <laughs> how was i supposed to know she j i just wanted the big mommy milkers and she had those big mommy milker i had one donka donkers i had one checkbox to check and that was it she had the badonka donk taco truck honker monkers badonkers if you really want me to put a second checkbox to see if it's your grandmother or not or see if they're related to you in any way shape or form then i could but we should have that conversation beforehand no i'm not gonna stop now that i've already done it once <laughs> i'm enjoying it too much it's and the other now. tells nothing but lies <laughs> say hello to your new step grandpa uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> Sorry, the transition is beautiful. <laughs> I've never had Taco Bell. It... Also, I like the inflection that, like, is commonly used. It's like Taco Bell. Except, like, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a Middle Eastern country. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Did you hear the not the cloud in the Middle East? Did you hear the president's bombing to Kobo? <laughs> I'm gonna flip a mental coin to see if we're gonna cut this out. <laughs> now we're keeping it. <laughs> oh, sorry for my boys in the Middle East. <laughs> you got boys in the Middle East? <laughs> no Do problem. we have listeners there? No. I think no. There's just literally no way. Uh, I think. Uh, I, can, I can make some calls though. <laughs> some connections in Jerusalem. Boys, <laughs> I'm calling in my favor. Uh, I really like Taco Bell, but only for the times that call for it. It's got to be 3 a.m. on a Friday night, and we've already like went out to a party. We've already done something, and we we're hungry, but we're all just chilling. Maybe we got some drinks. Maybe we did some other stuff, and like we're hungry. Hypothetically, Hypothetically. Alex doesn't consume any of that. Continue. Could it be me? Nope. Uh, could it be me? Uh, you have to be – the whole thing about Taco Bell is you absolutely have to be in the mood for it. That makes sense. And it, it's just that it fulfills that niche. I just don't like tacos that much in the first place, and it, that's the problem for It's me. so hard to even compare them to a real taco. It, like, they're, it's not even really. It's not a taco. It's, it's Taco Bell. Yeah. I don't know. I just can't – I can't break myself. To, I just – it's not for me. Um, I, feel, I, I feel like shit just thinking about what it looks like. Uh, do you see what time we're at? 34. Okay. We'll do like one or two more. We got no limits, baby. Make uh, them good. Make sure you're picking the good ones out of the ones that are left over. I have a strong feeling about Subway. Okay. Oh, yeah, you do. But I've never had Subway either. I really like Subway. I know I, you do. I have, 
I have a secret love is makes it romantic. Would you have sex with Subway if they were personified into a college student? Yes. Yes, at Community, the TV show. Just a quick plug for our favorite television show. Community. Unanimously the best TV show created ever. On Netflix. It ruined every other TV show for me. Uh yes. <laughs> to your question. <laughs> Alright, good. Um I would you fuck a Subway sandwich? <clears throat> yes, okay. Continue. I plead the fifth. <laughs> um uh, I I really like Subway, but I can't talk about it with anyone because everyone that I know doesn't like Subway or it like isn't or, or like there's like a stigma around it, which is totally understandable. But it just means I I always have to go to Subway by myself, which is fine. It just feels weird. It's like it's like I'm giving into a. It's like I'm seeing a. It's like I'm seeing a my mistress on on the weekend. Like I tell my I tell my wife that I'm going to uh, on a business trip, but I'm actually going to Subway. <laughs> And it just feels wrong if anyone sees me at Subway. There's a Subway right outside my school. You could see it from the gate. Like someone could see me through the window. And I'm, <laughs> I, I like have like my up. arm. No, no, dead ass. I have my arm like wrapped around my food to like make sure that like no, oh, I can eat fast and no one sees me. I'm thinking like you're pressed up against the gate, like looking at the Subway longingly. Like, how I wish I was with you. Subway, my love. Subway looks back at me and says, no, no, it's too soon. She, you have to break up with her. My mother can never find out. <laughs> Chick, chick, my Chick Fil A friends, they can't find out. Subway, you got the badonka donk taco trunk. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd kill a man for Subway. Wow, you know who else loves? Erin loves Subway. You should talk to her about. Really? That. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, she's a big fan. I'd punt a baby for Subway. <laughs> I didn't ask. It. You didn't have to say that. No one I, made. You I say would. That. <laughs> Uh, but do you think you like? Let's say you could have free subway for life, but only if you could punt the baby fifty yards. Do you think you could get that baby fifty yards? I probably can't, but I try really hard. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many babies would you be willing <laughs> to try that on? Like if they, if they said like we have an infinite supply of babies in order for you to attempt to punt, how mm. how long how long would you go until you gave Jesus. up? Jesus. <laughs> Morally, in good conscience, I'd see how far the first one or two went, <laughs> what and then I'd make an executive decision on the fly. Okay, what if you're getting like forty to forty-five in your first couple, <laughs> dude? You're, <laughs> you're really pulling my strings right now. Also, I'm just trying to test I'm, the waters. I'm gonna have to say, how cl however close I get on the third one is uh, is where I draw the line. If I'm within, I say ten yards. This is a good prompt. Take out subway for anything else. No. <laughs> uh, I'm going to finish on one more that I think you might have a pretty good opinion on. Yeah, okay, go for it. Five Guys. I fucking love Five The thing about Five Guys is that it's almost a different – it's not quite like total fast food. Like it's a, it's almost like a tier above because they're like really making their – like you know that their burgers are real and like freshly. You can watch them make it like better ingredients. Like it's not – Better pizza, Papa John's. <laughs> I initiated that for anyone not watching the video. I initiated with that. His eyes. I was. I was gonna just let it go. I said Papa John's with my eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fellas, don't take that girl out in a day unless she says Papa John's with her eyes. With her eyes. You ever get that look? The Papa John's look. You ever undress someone with those Papa John eyes? <laughs> anyway, um, but. Like you know, it's not it's not like on the same tier as like a McDonald's or a Burger King or a Wendy's. It's, it's I bet you, you've never been in there. Of I know course that. not. I know that. I I you can't. Are, you're I think I've been in one once, but I've been with a lot of people that went that went there and I waited outside. It is really good, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Like, have you had Shake Shack? They should have thought about that. Have you had Shake Shack? I have had Shake Shack. It's like Shake Shack burgers, <laughs> but better. I was gonna say Shake Shack is very overrated. I like it. But it's not worth the amount of money – with the amount of money that you pay Shake Shack and how much food you get in return, it's just – and the quality of the food is just not good enough. I don't even love their shakes that much. Like the food – yeah, the food and the shakes are fine, but it's not worth like shelling out $20, $25 for like a burger and a shake and maybe a side. Plus their fries suck. I hate those fries. It's, it's totally whatever. And especially like such, always such long lines. Yeah. And when you talk about fries, five guys. Best fries you will eat, and I feel bad that you have. I bet them. they should have thought about that before uh, nuking the restaurant to make sure that yeah. a certain class of people can't go in. It's pretty class. A, a certain <laughs> class. <laughs> the upper middle class will have their right. <laughs> yeah, we have normal people, you know, stupid people, and nut allergy people. <laughs> this is this is the cat. There's single cell amoeba. There's whale <laughs> whale feces, and then there's people with nut allergies. This is the caste system. <laughs> I. I have a nut allergy. 
They have nuts in the store. I can't go in the store. It reeks. I, have I don't even have that strong of an allergy. And, like, it's it's insane. It's insane that it's just like, here are barrels of nuts. You can't come in the store. <laughs> it's funny because I have a nut allergy but not peanuts. I know, which is insane. <laughs> so I <laughs> – so now every time I walk into a Five Guys now, I'm going to be like, fuck you, Alex. <laughs> I'm not even there. Head. I'm not even there. You're, you're you're 80 and I died 15 years ago. My grandchild's like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, dad's off the shit again. Who's Alex? Someone grabbed the tranquilizer. God fucking damn it. <laughs> are you off, that big? You need a tranquilizer? He's off his rocker. No, no, no. They're just – they're tired of me. So every time I say something that they don't like, they just fucking stick a needle in me and I go unconscious. Oh, that was like a horse tranquilizer. I think <laughs> – they just turn you off. <laughs> that would be pretty fucking – that's like a vicious thing you could do. It's just like have a fucking needle of horse tranquilizer in public and then just fucking chew someone and boom. That's that's like – I know there's a, like cop TV shows that have uh, – that, that's been used as a, a method of murder. I believe I believe there was a psych episode that did that. Jesus. Um. It, it was supposed to be a, I, I think, to completely spoil the episode. It was like a jockey. It was like a jockey themed episode, and like someone, someone was trying, oh, someone was trying to rig, like rig, like the horse races, and they were trying to horse tranquilize the horse from afar, like with with a camera, with like, something that looked like a camera. Uh, but they hit the guy, and the guy died, and so they like very frantically covered it up, and that was the episode. Oof. Yeah, it was really that, smart. That is tough. Anyway, uh, uh, Five Guys is probably good. But they are, you know, I hate them for not letting me in. Yeah, that's let tough. me in. Actually, I don't even want their stuff. <laughs> they can keep it. They, I don't need it. They're stupid burgers. I don't need their burgers. Are you kidding me? Honestly, there's so much fast food stuff. We could probably even come back to this some episode. But oh yeah, there's probably oh, plenty more well. places we could talk about. Uh, <laughs> no, we're exhausted in what we talk about. But now we're going to talk about the second thing, dude. There's what? this fast food place. It's not like fat. It's it's like here's how I'll describe it. It's like Chipotle but with Mediterranean food. It's fucking incredible. Interesting. Fuck, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called, but, like, it's so good. It's, I wish I could bring you. Like, if you come down to my school, I would bring you. It's so good. Oh, it's Mediterranean? Is it, like, Mediterranean, these nuts on your face? Woo! Dude, that made no fucking sense at all. <laughs> now we're going to talk about a psych thing. Bro. Okay. Yeah, psych thing. Yeah, bask in it. It sucked, didn't it? It didn't even. There was no. You take it on the chin. And you keep going. That's, no, that's there was how, no connection. That's how comedy. No, works. What does that even mean? Mediterranean. These nuts. What? Like, it, like a shit. Like a rainstorm. Like. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you. You. Some. You know. Some of the best comics. Uh. Usually, like how they start is that they uh, face plant like on stage for a long time, but then they learn. You know. I'm gonna tell Howie about that one. Ha Howie who? How are we gonna get this dick in your mouth? <laughs> Uh, it's like thing. Uh, so there was a study done a long time ago. Did I do research on it? Kind of. Do I remember anything about the research that I did 15 minutes ago? No, not really. Actually, we were recording 15 minutes ago. That would have been funny. Um, <clears throat> that would be impressive. I know, right? Uh, there is a delayed gratification study uh, done with kids. I think this was in like in the 90s. The or maybe it was earlier. The marshmallow test. Yeah, it, yeah, it was called the marshmallow test or like the marshmallow experiment, something like that. But it was a marshmallow. What? Apparently they actually did it with like some kids got marshmallows, some got a pretzel, and some got chocolate. Interesting. Continue. Okay. I, I don't know about it. So uh, uh, these researchers took a bunch of kids. Uh, I think it was called the Stanford marshmallow experiment because it was done. It was done at Stanford, yeah. Uh, took a bunch of kids and like individually, one at a time, they brought them into a room and sat them down and said, and put a marshmallow in front of them and said, here's a marshmallow. <laughs> you fucking fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dumbass kid doesn't know how to keep their own weight down. <laughs> near, near. Uh, they put a marshmallow down in front of the kid in this room and say, I'm going to put this down. You can have this now if you want. I'm going to be back. In I'm going to put it down, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a freak, Batman. I put this marshmallow down on the table right here in front of you. If you can wait 15 minutes, I might. I think it's like they said that they might give you another marshmallow. Um, no, no, they would. They said that's or, like the. I was sure how it was phrased or anything, but I think it, I think it was like guaranteed. Like if you wait like 15 minutes, I'll come back and you can have okay. two. Uh, yeah, if you if you wait 15 minutes and you can come back and have two, so they would set the marshmallow down. 
and the researcher would leave the room. It was nothing but like the kid. The kid was young. The kids were young. They were preschool, so they're like four or five, probably. <clears throat> um, it was like a four or five year old kid mm-hmm. in a room with a marshmallow and nothing else, and promised that if they waited, uh, like fifteen minutes is definitely a long time for a kid in a blank room with nothing in it. Uh, that if they waited, they would get another marshmallow, and they recorded. They recorded some. Uh, some kids would wait the fifteen minutes, and some kids wouldn't. They just like. They they would either eat it immediately or they would uh they would wait a little bit but then get too bored and eat it, and yeah. But the interesting thing is that they would track the kids for the next what twenty thirty years or something like that. A while it was. A so while. They did it on a like they did a <clears throat> lot of kids with this because the first study they didn't do a lot of kids. Right, is, but once is they what found out it was significant, like yeah. that they could find something from it. Then they did a fuck ton of kids. So that yeah. way. Because when you follow a lot of people like throughout their lives, like people are going to drop out. So yeah. you want to make so, sure. So, so the whole the whole thing was that they at, after seeing the marshmallow stuff, they followed the kids throughout their lives for like the next twenty. That was like in feedback. The next like twenty or twenty five years or something like that, uh, and see like how well are these kids doing in, doing in school? Do, uh, do they do they like grow up to get a criminal record? Do they like? get a job do they finish school like what's what's going on with these kids like as they grow up do they start a family <clears throat> and supposedly with the first stu- in that first study at least they uh the kids that were able to delay their set like delay gratification and like wait for the second marshmallow would do better in school and like ha- lead better lives and be less likely to like fall fall into like depression or fall into like a lot of other uh just like negative negative stuff and the kids who couldn't wait for the marshmallow tended to lead like harder more difficult lives uh maybe dropping out of school not doing too well not getting not getting the best job that they want or just like in not leading the lives that they really want to and there was a lot of there's a lot of like controversy after that especially because it was very like oh my gosh like that's that's crazy kind of reaction it was then replicated and a lot of studies found some issue with it. But before we get into that, do you have any any thoughts or just like – Yeah, it's crazy. It's all about – supposedly it's all about self-control, right? Like yes. The the And then apparently it's evident at four or five. Yeah, supposedly. Well, I think – I don't want to get this wrong because there was – so basically I can't remember 100 percent off the top of my head. But I, I do know that there were two different ways kids were able to like – reason with themselves or like distract themselves from the marshmallow there's like either kids who could would do it internally or or externally mm-hmm. and i think it was <clears throat> fucking allergies there's i could be getting this the wrong way around but i don't think i am the kids that tried to distract themselves with external things were the ones that normally would end up eating the marshmallow because it's like you try you know do something like with your environment and then it's you get bored very quickly and then you eat the marshmallow but Kids who were able to distract themselves, like, like internally, like things that, like within their mind, their head. Um, those are the kids that were able to, like, hold themselves back from eating the treat, and that was the supposed signal of self control. Um, because you know, if you're trying to distract yourself from things that are external, like you aren't able to just like control yourself, um, just within yourself. Yeah, I think that's sort of the the logic there. Yeah. Which is definitely interesting. I could, I feel like I could see where that might have gone, <clears throat> but there was a lot of replication that was done, which is mostly what I read a while, uh, maybe like thirty minutes ago, forty minutes ago, and hopefully I remember what it was kind of about. You don't have to expose yourself. I, 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 I would rather be real and honest than pretend that I know what I'm talking about and then get get cited that I that I, I royally screwed it up. No, I'd rather I'd rather put it out there, and then if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever. I, we clown people for being wrong when they think they're right. That's what we do, like as a job. I never claim to not be hypocritical. I do. Wait. Uh, One of us tells only the truth. <laughs> Greg, I said I was sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, take this. Use the sorry to take the. No, never mind. Nope, never mind. I probably shouldn't say those words. Uh, at least I have that much of a filter. That's great. This man. could be a real different level. Uh. There was a lot of replication done, and what a lot of these uh like s- studies did that tried to replicate the original study, like the results of the original study, didn't find that because supposedly the original study didn't uh, uh control for things like socioeconomic status and uh race, ethnicity, uh, uh and a and a lot of other like very important demographic factors. Yeah, that makes sense. 
And so they did. And then they found that there wasn't too much of a difference once those things were controlled for, especially with, but they especially found that variation in uh, SES in terms of kids coming from poorer families tended to eat the marshmallow faster and kids coming from higher class families tended to be able to wait for the marshmallow. I wonder why that is. It's almost like, it's almost like the kids of the Stanford prison experiment, prison, the, <laughs> to whoa, totally different whoa. experiment. <laughs> totally. Yeah. The, different. the four or five year olds of the Stanford prison experiment, when, when they were given the, the opportunity for power, uh, no, the, <laughs> Jesus. the, 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 children from from a from the stanford marshmallow experiment taken from a preschool basically on the stanford campus or like next to the stanford campus or affiliated with the stanford campus yeah was generally upper middle class and white that's crazy dog would have never guessed that and of course not of course but one might see why hey these very small this very small selected group of sample of the sample they all they all like exhibited this very specific tendency once if they didn't eat the marsh if they didn't eat the marshmallow isn't that crazy well th it was crazy because when these once these replications came out and they controlled for that they were like well actually it was just that group once we actually factored in the other uh, factored in these other variables we realized that it's almost like poor kids might not know where their next marshmallow is coming from or when they might get it and so that's not the, especially in like a four year old's mind. That's that's good enough. It's like there's a marshmallow in front of me. There's no reason not to have it right now. Yeah, yeah, I I do remember hearing about that, and it's pretty it's it's pretty tough, but that's just yep. Yeah, that's the reality and of it's, it. It's pretty easy to understand how uh like a kids from a preschool that that that's very close by to this very this prestigious university. Uh, car coming from homes where their pantry is usually filled, and like, and and, it, and it's expected to be filled even from such a young age. And you can imagine a childcare run by Stanford mm -hmm. is going to be expensive. Yep. And so you're going to have to pay money to get into that. Precisely. Um, it's just interesting because like, it just shows you that even the you know the findings or whatever that we assume to be like the most solid or like because this until is replicated was like taken like as gospel like yes for a was, very long time this shit was like preached um it just shows that like nothing nothing is beyond reproach absolutely um which is really interesting um and speaks to like the integrity of science which is not always there anymore i know but that's what uh, unfortunately that's that's where like the research community is at in in this like period of time where it's it's like the called a replication crisis or something like that where a lot of these things that have been taken for like gospel truth ha are being looked at and being like that ain't it chief yeah let's try again but but it's good because now we're getting to a more understanding place yeah but real as, as, as opposed to place. like remember when we talked about the thing with the fucking the thing with the uh where people could uh the study where people could do better on tests when they study afterwards <laughs> I remember they like the people got the replication it didn't replicate mm -hmm. and then they like they tried to keep sending it to, to to journals and they were like no and then this one journal finally accepted it and they're like we're gonna send it out for peer review <laughs> and then they killed them no. make sure that it wasn't sent out for peer review no and then one of the peer reviewers and then the, like they got back and they're like one of the peer reviewers didn't really like it like we we can't really put it up and then they found out that that peer reviewer was the guy who did the original study <laughs> And they're yeah. like, hey, this is very biased peer review. Like, can we get this peer reviewed again? And they're like, no. <laughs> and that was it. Run that shit. <laughs> Run it. Um Yeah. It's it's a it's a crazy time for research, but hopefully hopefully things will change. But really what I got out of this study is that the four uh, the the four year old working class really needs to start stepping up to the to the four year old bourgeoisie. The, there's there's simply there's simply too much class conflict going on right now with these marshmallows. We need a higher we need a higher demand of marshmallows by you know what we should do? Seize the means of supply of the marshmallow. You right? know what? No, I'm thinking even better. You've really you've really honed in on the problem. It's the four year olds, it's the kids. <laughs> and so the Jews have done this before. We killed the firstborn son. Of course. Then and then all, all right, done, next. <laughs> and then the poor get and then the poor get richer. 
Right. And the rich get rich. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Because uh, the rich have to pay for all the funeral costs. True. And you know who does all the hard work for the funerals? The poor people. What are the poor people going to do? Go into debt? <laughs> get a job, four-year-old. We fucking figured it out. <laughs> My wanna... four-year-old needs to have marshmallows on the table for their family. <laughs> you want to bounce out the economy? Kill a bunch of rich kids. <laughs> It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. But only if they don't eat the marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. Only if they don't eat the marshmallow. It's a it's a dystopian uh uh young adult novel. It's like it, in, instead of a instead of a cho- choose your uh choose your type uh, when you're 13 when you're 13 you like choose what stupid uh stupid group you're affiliated with. It's when you're 4 they put a marshmallow in front of you and if, they, if you, they're you like, don't they're staring at you they're like What's he gonna do? Are you gonna eat it? Are you... <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know yet. If, <laughs> if spears and guns to your head, it's like, well, you got 13 minutes to figure it out, kid. <laughs> Just a bunch of like indiscriminate like yelling. <laughs> Fucking eat it! What the fuck is wrong with you? A really high budget, like, like a panning shot of like the crowd and then back at the kid, and he's about to eat the marshmallow, and he just rips it in half and throws it at the guard. Anarchy. <laughs> They have a camera set up below below the chair because they know a lot of kids shit themselves with the pressure, <laughs> the pressure of this decision. Oh my god! It's the camera's completely blacked out because the kid's sitting on it, and then suddenly it just the light kind of moves around, and it just kind of becomes a really dark shade of brown. The producer's like, check the shit cam, check the shit cam, the shit cam. No, there's a bunch of guards up at the kid, and they're like. All right, this is really important, Timmy. You, you, you ready? You ready with me? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, honey, we love you. Just answer the question right. Would you rather shit yourself in front of a crowd or f- silently or fart really, really loud? Check his pants. Check his pants. <laughs> uh, the kid's like, well, you know, if you take a shit in your pants, you can deal with it. He's a fucking liar. He's a liar. <laughs> that shit smells. <laughs> Um, it's like a, a full coliseum of people. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly how it, I, I'm clowning on this, but I I'm very familiar with the setup because I've read so many young adult novels when I was when I was younger. Yeah, we we read a lot. Yeah, um, no, it was mainly just you. Reading, I read you a lot, and I told you to read. I told okay, you, but to read I read one. them too. You did. So like, I also in turn read a lot. I mean, they were hype. They were hype. Not you didn't read as much as me, but I have a what's our time here? Fifty-seven. <laughs> I mean, how the hell did we do that? I don't know. I mean, we took a while to start up. Should, remember, we, should we even do the Would You Rather? Or do you we want can to save it? it. Let's save you it. You remember Alex Ryder? Yo, Alex Ryder slapped. I have the entire series. I, like I, was, always, I was always an e-reader person. Yeah, just because it was more accessible. I, I would have rather had physical copies, but um, you know, Alex Ryder slapped. Something... That's what we should do. We should talk about books. Uh, I said it out loud. I said it out loud. <laughs> I said it out loud. I said it out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. I really want to talk about books. There's a way. There's a way we could do. It. We have I to talk about it. Highly doubt it. We have to talk about how we could talk about it. I it, it, that conversation is going to lead nowhere. All right. Well, we but can... if you guys want us to talk about books, you can email us whoaskcast at gmail dot com, or you can check out our social media: Instagram, YouTube, TikTok at whoaskcast. Um, we have. Uh, we also have a Twitter who asked cast. Uh, we have a website who asked podcast.podbean.com where you can find all of our episodes, all of our links for everything. Um, you know, where you can listen on, uh, Spotify, Apple podcasts, Google podcasts, Stitcher, a lot of different places. I'm really upset. I really wanted to do these. Would you rather and unpopular opinions? I we made will. them. I made them. Oh, I know, but I want to do it now. Oh my God. I guess we'll just bitch. have to do in the next episode that we're going to record right a week from now. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Hey, everybody. So before we get into the episode, I just want to explain that we did try to record video for this episode, but the camera ran out of memory in the middle of the recording. Uh, And that is definitely squarely our bad, but unfortunately, that means there will be no video for this episode. For those who like to watch on YouTube, which is basically nobody, but thought we would address anyway. Uh, Anyway, now that that's out of the way, uh, enjoy the episode.